on today's panel. He's a writer producer who wants your extra time and your little kiss. It's David Parker. <laughs> she is an actress and a little red Corvette who baby is much too fast. It's Amanda Blake Davis. She's the creator of Nerdtainment, who's not gonna let the elevator get us down. The crazy and let's go crazy. It's Sarah Atwood. And finally, he doesn't want to cause you sorrow or pain. He just wants to see you dancing in the purple rain. It's Douglas Sarang. Thank you, Sarah. Welcome to Sight Unseen, the guessing game where our distinguished panel attempt to guess the purpose, aims, and possibly even the names of unique websites. As always, our panel must only ask yes or no questions. They get as many yes answers as they can string together before they get 10 no answers and are defeated by the internet. Welcome, panel. Hello. Hey. hey. Amanda, this is your first time uh, playing the game. What do you think? Uh, do well, you know the internet uh, well? Uh, no, and not at all. <laughs> um, but I've watched the show a bunch. So um, I feel like I, I'm ready to take it on. Nice. Are you a gamer? Do you uh, a game in any fashion, board or no. video? No. Okay. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> p pinochle with your uh, great aunt or anything? Mm, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to go for it then. Uh, let's get started with our first website. Our first mm. website is for a German tourist destination. A German tourist destination. Your hint to get you started is, from the legend of this destination, it is said that he, in heathen times, there lived an old wise woman who helped people looking for advice. One day she was driven away by a monk in a black habit in the company of the Frankish warriors. The namesake of this tourist destination was supposed to have protected her from her pursuers. We give our panel one wild guess <laughs> what? just based on that. David, what's your wild guess based on that legend? <laughs> It's got to it's got to be the Berlin Wall. Uh, Berlin Wall. Okay. Okay. Sarah, what's your guess based on that? Um the Black Forest? The Black Forest. Okay. Okay. Amanda, what's your uh, wild guess based on that? Oh my gosh. Crone's River. Uh r the Rhone River? Crone. Oh, the Crone the River. Crone. Oh, okay. Uh no, it is not any of those uh, things. Those are all things that I'm sure are in Germany. Uh, and and might be uh, tourist destinations. So we'll start oh. the guessing with you, David. Oh God, this destination must be named after like a spirit or something. This like ghost of so and so protected her from her pursuers. I don't know. This why feels very name, good, David. Mm -hmm. The namesake of something would protect right. her. Right? Is this a tourist des destination? Named after some sort of religious figure. No. One down, nine to go, Sarah. Who is the namesake related to a fairy tale? Not exactly. I'm going to have to give it a no because it's not uh, related to a fairy tale. Mm. But that is not completely off base. So two down, eight to go, Amanda. Okay. Is it an English word or is it a German word? Right, right. Well, I did click English translation uh, on the website, but it's it's a German word. But you'd know it as an English word. There's a there's an English okay. translation for this German word. It's not like uh, hmm. Schadenfreude or something like that that doesn't have okay. an English translation. Uh, there is a definite English translation for this uh, location. Yes. So the actual site is the English translation. If an English person was going there, yes. If a German person was going there, I'm sure they'd use the German word. But what word are we going for, Douglas? You're going for the English word, because okay. I don't think any of you speak <laughs> German. Okay, great, 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 great. Is there a, a woman's name in the title? No. Three down, seven to go, David. Is this destination man-made? No. The access might be man-made but the destination itself is not man-made. Okay. So four down, six to go, Sarah. All I know about Germany is fairy tales, so I'm mm. really stuck in this. And if it's not a complete no, I'm gonna stay there. Would I know this destination from anything that Hans Christian Andersen wrote? Ooh. Would Do, anyone don't know I, I don't think so. I don't think Hans Christian Andersen wrote a story okay. related to this name. 
He could have. I don't know the complete works of Hans Christian Anderson, but to the best of my knowledge, he does not have a story based on that. Uh, okay. uh, five down, five to go, Amanda. Uh, yeah. It is the um, <laughs> natural thing that we're trying to get to. Is it a, a mountain or a hill? No, it is not a mountain or hill, but that should be valuable information. Thank you. That's a very good question. Six down, four to go. <laughs> okay, so it's not a mountain or a hill, which really means something. Because mm -hmm. it is a natural thing. It's a natural thing. What are some other natural things? Forests. I like to guess the black forest. Oh, waterways, mm -hmm. ravines, mm -hmm. gorges. Yeah. Is the namesake a person? I think that's already been covered. It's not a. It's not a person. Okay, it's not a person. Fine. Yeah. Is this like? Do you in modern times would you pay to get into this? Yeah. There's a yes. There is a, a admission fee. Okay, Amanda, you have some thoughts. I do. Am I allowed to say them? I feel like it might be like um like a a, a water thing, like a fountain of youth. But I know that's not in Germany. But okay. like. Okay. I'm going like, like to go down protection. the water route. Because it was like it protected her from being an old crone. Some kind of a spring or something. Okay, so it does It protected this... her from the from pursuers, pursuers. Her pursuers, pursuers, which was the monk and and uh, the Frankish warriors. So she could okay. in the water. Sure. Like sure, sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hans Christian Anderson did write a famous story about a mermaid. He did. True. Yeah. True. Ariel. I do know that. Uh, David, you got a question in there somewhere? I do, I do, I do. Does this uh, does this naturally occurring tourist destination have to do with water in some way? No, I'm going to say... <laughs> Dang no, it! it not. Really Seven down, gonna be three it. to go. You get your late round clue. And oh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, it's a cave. Oh! It's a cave. Oh yeah, and those German caves. Sure, very nice, very and the first uh, reference to this cave was found in a document in 1541. That's so helpful, thank you You combine so much. that with, with uh, Sarah's information, I think you're really on the right track. Sarah, what you got? Oh, I don't think I have information. I, I don't know anything about German uh, caves, so I am going to stick with this word, the namesake that maybe protected her. That's, that's what we're which, looking for. Okay, so great. Uh, <laughs> is, is, it the, is it the warden caves? The warden caves, like where rabbits would be? No, like uh, a warden is a at a jail. Oh, and uh, that's I'm a so, Gotcha. I, I was going with that word. Gotcha. Okay. No, uh, it is not a prison or jail of any type. Eight down, two to go. Amanda, what do you got for us? Does the name have to do with um, the with other creatures inside of the cave? That yes, yes, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pair that with uh, you know the where Sarah was going. You might uh, <laughs> you might be in a good place. No, I really don't know where Sarah was going. I don't either. Are those creatures fantastical? Yes. Oh, oh this is good. This is good. This now is good, Amy. Keep going. Well, good. Now I can use all my fantastical German creature knowledge. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Are the creatures wounded? Can they fly? Uh, no, unfortunately, they cannot oh. fly. Nine God. down, one to go. Oh. David. David. Oh, no. You guys are cooking with gas. Creatures, fantastical creatures that live in a cave. Oh God, I have to get a yes. I have to make sure that I get a yes so that I can keep going. You got um, it. Go with fantasy creature, not fantasy with creatures. Wings. I'm wondering like, do I ask if this creature is like covered in fur or do I ask if it's like a single creature versus like a group of creatures? I like your fur question. Those I'm are like, all questions. <laughs> Douglas, stay out of this. <laughs> <laughs> is this creature covered in fur? Yes. Okay. Furry okay. Creature. Furry. So it's like um, a mammalian uh, fictional creature. Um, I don't. Is know. this creature larger than a bread box? Yes. <laughs> das Bigfoot? Das Bigfoot? <laughs> <laughs> what is the real word for Bigfoot? Sasquatch? Is that doesn't sound German. Is that a German thing? So the cave is named after this creature. Yes. And this creature protected this wise woman. 
the gave people advice. Yes. It was a monk in a black habit. Just stalling for time here. Um, <laughs> David's brain is doing this. <laughs> I'm leaning more towards like the Sasquatch Yeti kind of yes. route. I, I yes, <laughs> go with it, David. We give it to support. You. Oh yeah. God. Okay. Is it a Yeti? No, unfortunately, uh, it's not a Yeti, and you Yeti have caves. been defeated by the internet. I'm going to introduce you now to the Unicorn Cave. Oh, unicorn oh Cave is what I, I think we could pronounce that Einhorn Hole. Oh. <laughs> Einhorn Hole. Right? I love unicorns. How come this did not come into my brain oh at all? My God. I don't, caves and unicorns, I've never, <sighs> I've never, never known. So uh, Amanda, interesting fact that the bones that were found in the cave that they people uh, sold them as unicorn fossils and they, they ground them up into powder and sold them for medicinal purposes, they actually were cave bear bones. So when oh. you were saying bear, I think you were you were darn close to the truth. Oh, ground unicorn bones? Somebody wanted that? Oh, okay. yeah. There we go. No. Just thank you. Oh, <laughs> man. God. I'm so mad. I feel like this is one we could have gotten and we did not. Yeah. Um, Fantastical like creatures. Uh, well, our next website is an online library. Oh. This is an online library. Your hint is that this library is dedicated to one thing and something you'd find on the virtual shelves of this library is Ripley's Revenge. We give our panel one wild guess based on that. Amanda, what's your wild guess based on that? Um, oh, it's uh, the Circus Library. Okay, David? I think it is a library of, of long fingernails. Oh, okay, <laughs> nice. Sarah, what, uh, what do you guess? Can we say the Ripley's Believe It or Not virtual library? Sure, yeah, you could say that, but uh, that is not what this is. I must tell you that as we begin the questioning that this thing is not an object, but rather a recreation, entertainment, art, or sport that this uh, online library is dedicated to. And we'll start our questioning back with you, Amanda. Aww. Uh, <laughs> does this uh, recreation, oh, you said all the things, I can't remember what they are. Yeah. Um, is it related to murder? No. One yeah, down, nine like to go, that, David. <laughs> yeah. How fun would that have been? I mean, it's got Ripley has got to be an important clue, right? Like I oddity is, is the library dedicated to like a, oh God, like a hobby that people do for fun? Yeah. People do this uh, for recreation, but they also <laughs> do it for entertainment, art. Art or sport. Or sport. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, are you um, are you saying not a job? Are you saying yeah, like not a profession, like a casual? There are people that do this casually, and there are people that do this professionally. So I do have to answer yes to you, but I want to be clear. <laughs> okay. Is it something that people would associate generally with America? No, I wouldn't say it's uh, specifically American at all. Two down, eight to go, Sarah. You you said a book, a virtual. Uh, it sounded like a book, so I'm gonna say is it's, a, it's the, an online library, and on the virtual shelves of this library, shelves is. I'm just using that as more of a metaphor. So is this a recreational activity that this online library is about reading in the dark? No, three down, seven to go. ABD. Is it related to eating? No, four down, six to go, David. Dang it. I'm getting tripped up on like the virtual library of this. Is it like a database where yes. old things are stored and, and and can you search this database? Yes. Okay. The the way you're smugly saying yes. Well, no, like, I mean, I say that's yes. Not entirely helpful. <laughs> Specifically, I want to say yes to kind of like the, the beginning and end. The oldness of it, I wouldn't want you to get too... Confused sure. about how old. Okay. Does this library collect actual th uh, things that are like tangible in real life or is it all virtual stuff on the internet? It's like collecting things from all over the internet and storing them in this virtual library. That was, that was not uh, a yes or no question. What, but oh, oh, okay. I can go ahead and answer no to both of those. Wait, what? It doesn't hold anything? <laughs> 
<laughs> it doesn't hold virtual it. or tangible things. It doesn't. It doesn't hold tangible things. But you were talking about objects, right? Objects, yeah. Yeah, and there's no, there's, there's not virtual objects. Okay. There's not, there's not real objects or virtual objects. So that's five, down, five to go, Sarah. Okay, so off of that, I'm going to ask: Is this an experience or a thing that we're doing? Yes. Is this involve art, uh, creating something artistically? I'm going to say yes because, as I've clarified. It can be considered a recreation, entertainment, uh -huh, art, uh -huh, or uh -huh, sport. Okay. sport. Okay. Great, 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 great. Ask about so the sport. Doing yes. Ask if it's a oh. sport. <laughs> okay. Is it um, this experience slash activity, is it a physically sporty? Wait, is that how I ask? <laughs> yes, there's physicality involved. Physicality involved. Um, oh, my God. Does this physicality uh, involve a team effort? It can involve a team, but more typically does not involve a team. Okay, okay, okay. Oh man, this is gonna be back to like throwing a boomerang, David. Because here's the thing, like Ripley's Revenge to me feels like a book or something. Like that's why I thought it was like, like right. what could Ripley's Revenge be that has to do with entertainment, art, sport? Well, what is Ripley's Revenge? Is it anything like I no Mama I mean, Revenge? I thought like Ripley was like Guinness Book of World Record stuff. Right? Same, same. Okay. But maybe we're on the wrong track. I don't know. Douglas threw us off. He did. Oh, he he likes always to do that. does. He's on the side of the internet. Does this activity involve a tool of some sort? What do you mean by a tool? Do I need to hold an apparatus to do this activity? Yes. Like, Am I? going to have a ball involved in this activity experience yes or no or no oh. great great absolutely helpful but do i have uh playing cards involved in this activity experience i'm gonna say no it would be very rare for you to have playing cards involved in this activity six down four to go abd do i need to use my hands to do this activity? I'm going to say yes, because I think that uh, that's the spirit of what you're asking. You don't huh? need your hands to do this, but it is most typically associated with hand activity. These answers are- This is- I'm so trying, crazy. look, I'm just trying to, to not get David mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your fact checker. I, I always mess up and David's like, I don't think that's right. <laughs> is this library spicy? Like, is there a little bit of naughtiness to this library? No. Oh. I would say there's no <laughs> naughtiness to this library. Uh, seven down, three to go. And I want to give you your late oh, round clue. Please. And your, la your late round clue is ABD's guess at the very beginning was as close as you've got. The circus one? Okay. Well, if it's an experience and activity that we might associate with the circus, David, we're talking trapeze. Uh... So, you, can, you can't be guessing. <laughs> 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 it is David's turn. You know David the circus, can, David. You know David, the circus. David can guess or ask okay. questions. Okay. So is it, oh, okay. So for juggling, I do feel like you need your hands though, right? Oh. Ding, ding, ding. It is juggling. <laughs> I think you can juggle with things other than your than I your hands. With their feet. Oh, yeah. Douglas, thank Maybe. you for giving that to us because you led us astray with the hands. I feel like I maybe people juggle like soccer balls. I'm going to introduce you to the library of juggling. Oh yeah. my God! Here are all the tricks that you might learn at the library of uh, juggling. Ooh. And Ripley's Revenge is a juggling move? And Ripley's Revenge, Ripley's Rainbow, those are all juggling moves. And this teaches you how to do everything from the Boston Shuffle to David's Dilemma. David, there's oh, your David. dilemma. I know that yes. one. I know that the good one. old Tennessee Waltz. You guys know how to how to oh, do I that love one. The Tennessee Waltz. Sure. I there think are got... this many ways to juggle. My oh, God. you gotta watch out for the Kraken. The Kraken's coming for you. They uh, all Martin. Look exactly Martin. <laughs> <laughs> but six ball fountain is probably, that's, that's probably as naughty as they get is the six ball uh, fountain which uh, i don't think any of us want that to looks do. difficult can we see ripley's revenge i want to know what that looks like i think it looks exactly like the others yeah i think it was 
Uh, oh, I think it was Ralph's Revenge and Ripley's oh. Rainbow. Oh, oh I, yeah. The good fact Sorry. checking there. Fact checking. <laughs> yeah. Ripley's Rainbow. Ripley's Rainbow and Ralph's Revenge. There's a lot of revenges, though. Wow. Every single one of this is using their hands, just pointing out. <laughs> and nice. I respect that. Who of y'all can juggle? No. I did take a juggling class. I went, I attended the Ringling Brothers Circus in Sarasota, Florida as a child. What? I lived in Sarasota, Florida, and that's just what you do when you live in Sarasota, Florida. So I learned the basics, but never grasped it. My oh. dad lives there now. Always pass by it when we. Yeah. Is, is your dad much of a juggler? <laughs> no. Oh. Well, it's always a <laughs> I did uh, children's parties back in Raleigh, North Carolina, and they sent us to Jolly Raleigh Clown Alley to learn our clowning skills. Oh, so, are you a clown? Uh, well, I did uh, children's birthday parties. As, You're as, like Cam from Modern Family. What's your clown oh, name? I don't even remember my clown name. Oh, uh, okay. it's, it's, it's really sad. Raleigh Alley? Uh, Jolly, <laughs> Jolly Raleigh Clown Alley in Raleigh, North Carolina. That's where we went to for training. <laughs> Guys, get ready for the odds and ends round. This oh. is a super quick round. I put 90 seconds on the clock and you just keep throwing questions at me. Right and wrongs don't, don't matter. You just got 90 seconds and you can get as many wrong as you want. Just keep throwing things at me. I'll answer as many yes, no's as I can. I'll try and, and, and catch them as they're coming at me. Uh, but I, I thoroughly believe that you can get this website. Uh, these are uh, odds and ends are the quirky corners of the internet that have this little uh, esoteric little pieces of fun for you uh, or education or, or something in that in that realm. They're just little unique corners of the, of the internet that I find. This website is dedicated to one thing. That one thing includes two things. Those two things are never the same. <laughs> This website is dedicated to one thing. That one thing includes two things. Those two things are never the same. This is like a riddle. Yeah. That is like a riddle. Your time starts now. Is it mathematically based? No. Uh, is this something that just everybody does? Yes. It's an activity? Kind of. Yes. Does is it, it an experience? Cooking? No, it is not an experience. Well, I mean, it can be an experience, I suppose. Is, does it involve cooking? No. Something you do in the house? Yes, you do, but you do it everywhere. Is it, it medical? No. Is it for is fun? It, is this for fun? I think it's for fun, but it's also for academics. David said sporty. No. Uh, fun um, and academics. Um, does it involve it, books? It involves information. Information. Oh. Does it involve the internet? Information? It's a website. <laughs> well, yes, information that could be on the internet, sure, yes. Um, Does everybody who go to school have to do this? Uh, yes, probably at some point. In school, you do it in school? You could take a class in this. Does it involve citation and research? Yes, it would involve research. If you were to take a class in this, would it be like at the college level? Probably, yes. Um, ah, that was so hard. I have no idea what to you, One thing. You're not allowed to say you're confident that we can get things. Yes. Because <laughs> it's kind of dickish to do that. Kind of a jerk, kind of a jerk move. No sense. This is a website dedicated to the difference between things. What? It is difference between. Stop dot net, it. And it shows you the difference between. All different types of things That's is where absurd. you go to find the different. Right now, they have a lot of uh, these things on there related to health and the COVID that we're going through. Comparing. It's a site about comparing. You wanted us to say comparing. Yes, so I would have accepted said, any of the synonyms for difference. When, when you said you were confident we could get this. Yeah. What made David. You say that? Yeah. What made you think? <laughs> Some, that we would get it. something so abstract. So <laughs> subtle. Do you guys know the difference between a dynasty and an empire? No. No, this is actually a very valuable site. I yes. It is. Definitely it's, something I need to go to often. It's yeah. tremendous. And they, they have so many wonderful and weird articles on, on here. This fashion one, 
Oh, retinol and moisturizer. Oh, What's sorry. the difference between Botox. fillers and Botox? Yes. Alloy toe, steel toe. Douglas, I, you're slowly going to get fired from this. this <laughs> I, I'm 100% going to get fired at some it's point. So I abstract. They should do like celebrities on there. Like what's the difference between yeah. Gigi Hadid and Bella Hadid? You know? Right. Like, to, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't see, yes. I don't see that, that as a category. <laughs> that was a very fun round. I'm sorry you guys didn't get it, but David, I am confident you're going to get that. <laughs> 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 Stop it. <laughs> We're on to our last round, which is our internet famous round. For this round, the panel tries to guess a famous person or group of people that has an official website. We offer no clues, but Sarah, we're gonna start our questioning with you to discover the website of this famous person. Is this person an actor? Yes. Is this person female? No. One down, nine to go, ABD. Is this person known for film? Yes. Has this person also done theater on the boards? Yes. Hmm. Is this person over the age of 70? Yes. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, that really narrows it down. Is this person Sir Ian McKellen? No. And I think there's is, a question related to I that age that ask, you might want to. I'm going to ask, is this in person alive? No. Oh. Okay. Three down, seven to go, Sarah. Okay, okay. Oh, you should have phrased that differently, David. I should have uh, said I'm mean, dead. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, did this person pass, I want to say recently, but let's say within the last 10 years? No. Four down, six to go, ABD. Was this person under 30 when they passed? No. Uh, and I feel like I don't want to count that against you because you asked previously if they were over 70. Oh. I said, yes, they're over they're over 70. So they were over 70 when they died. Got it, got it. Was this person known for being a, um, a womanizer? <laughs> a bit, yes. I, I don't know about womanizing specific. I just want to say, uh, four wives. That'll do okay, it. That's, yeah. That'll do it. That I'll take it. Some uh, people only get one, you know. <laughs> Some people only get none. Yeah. yeah. Was this person in the silent film era? Yes. Was this person Buster Keaton? No. Five mm -hmm. down, five yeah. to go, David. Yes. Okay, so I just want to recap a little bit. We have established <laughs> that this is a male actor known for film, dead, mm -hmm. died when he was over 70. Mm -hmm. Died as a man. Um, four wives, at least. Mm -hmm. um, and silent film. Now, was this person Caucasian? Yes. I mean, do I just do the obvious guess here in terms yeah. of silent film era? Yeah. I was this person Charlie Chaplin? Yes, this Yay! person was Charlie Chaplin. Yes, to right. the obvious guess. Great <laughs> job, guys. Uh, Charlie Chaplin, star of stage and screen. Yeah. And wonderful Charlie Chaplin a website here dedicated to all things Charlie Chaplin, including lots of great pictures. Huh. Look at him. He so, seems very slight, like a small person. I guess all people in movies are small. He does seem that way, yes. They were built differently back then. <laughs> they they didn't have all those, you know, steroids in their food and stuff. Yes. They were tinier people. I, I ate a lot of steroids when I was a kid. That's why. <laughs> you did. Look at him as a young man. Oh, Look at wow. no mustache. <gasps> I would yeah. not recognize that. Hey. You that mustache. You need the signature look when you're yeah. famous, you know? This is, uh, four wives. Sometimes you just can't find the right one. You got to keep going through them. Got to keep trying. Good but, job, you guys. I give that. We did it. You got us there. We really pinched it at the end. Way to bring it home, y'all. The score today was internet two, panel two. See, you guys came in just a nice 50-50. Uh, yeah. That's a good score. That's our show. A special thanks to all of the websites we mentioned and to the internet for providing the TARDIS to the infinite number of rooms, corridors, storage spaces, and including several squash courses. We thank you. Please like, subscribe, comment, and Patreon entertainment. 
you won't regret it, and we certainly appreciate it. Amanda, thanks for playing with us. Thank you uh, for if, having me. If people go to your Instagram, Miss Amanda Blake, what are they going to find there? Mm, hot dog content. Hot dog content. Hot dog. And you don't mean hot dog. No, no, no not you mean hot dog. Just hot dog. your dog. Yes, my dog, Eugene. <laughs> yes, lots of, lots of your dog. And occasionally you might be like half in the picture or something. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So it's Miss Amanda Blake on Instagram. That's she correct. Does, she's a wonderful actress who does lots of wonderful things. And you won't regret following her. For okay. Amanda Blake Davis, David Marker, and Sarah Atwood, I am Douglas Sarine. Thank you for seeing Sight Unseen. May all of your search results always be optimal. <laughs>